Yo, what's up guys? First vlog of March. Headed to um, a fitness right now. I have about five, four to five clients to train tonight. Uh, I didn't leave YouTube, but I've been really busy with um, a lot of my clients. Uh, just making sure that they reach their goals. So I've been focusing on them instead of making videos for uh, YouTube. And uh, I'm gonna try to balance both. Maybe have like a set uh, number of videos that I wanna put out a week. So I'm thinking of two right now. And then seeing how I manage it and how it goes, uh, we'll go from there. And yeah, maybe two a week, Monday, Wednesday and or Wednesday Friday something like that we'll see but hope you guys are all doing good um, I'm doing it excellent um, loving life hey, what's up guys shout out to Brandon right here from completing his leg workout how do you feel dude good feel okay. good yeah how are your legs very good <laughs> and uh, yeah we're just working with strength with him getting his fat loss down so that's the goal we're gonna wrap up this leg workout we just finished cardio Yo, what up guys? We just made it to Jersey Mike's. We're here in Rialto getting something to eat. Me and my mom. It's freaking crowded. It was really good though. Take my mom out to eat. We're gonna have dinner. What's up guys? So if you're watching this video, then the eight fitness shirts are out. The girls tank tops says eight. It has the, my logo in the front. It has the heartbeat right here going across for the A. It says A fitness, envision your success. Logo, heartbeat, A, and then A fitness, envision your success in the back. Now, if you are familiar with Gymshark, um, what else? Alpha, um, the top gym name brands, even Nike. Yeah, Nike has some pretty good stuff. Um, it's a real stretchy material, so it's gonna hug the sleeves. And if you like that fit, then definitely go check it out. Um, the link is in my uh, my bio on my Instagram, so go follow me there at Jared underscore Allard. So shirts are twenty dollars, and um, yeah, go pick yours up. Thank you guys for the support. picked up some mats for my soon-to-be uh, gym that I'm going to be leasing out. You can see in the back. Yeah. So we're headed uh, to back to A Fitness. Um, got uh, two more clients to train today, and we're done. So after that, we'll be training in the gym for ourselves and get the day going with. So so far, it's been a pretty good day, pretty productive. Um, lately, I've been uh, waking up around seven o'clock every morning. And I, I, I like it, but sometimes I feel really tired. 
but today is one of those days where it just feels like natural and you know okay to wake up that early. Me, I used to wake up at 10 o'clock before I was unproductive and I'm um, just getting used to it so it's something good to get used to. Um, you definitely get more done during the day and I like it. So we're here, we're gonna check out some uh, leasing property maybe for my new gym. Uh, so we'll see how it goes, see if the guy's in here. It looks locked, huh? The only thing, the only downside of the, this place is the apartments over there, and it gets a little, you know, not too bad, but uh, we'll get up. It feels good though. I think things are coming in 2016. Mark my words. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna take it to our year. So stay tuned, guys. I'm very happy. Um, on a serious note so I've been thinking and I think I want to do a series based on cutting down losing fat and getting ready for the summer so it really it really motivated me to you know get back down to where I used to be counting my macros and making sure that I'm in a caloric deficit so um, what I want you guys to do is if you're watching this video don't be afraid to comment you know Tell me what would be a good title for the series. Now, keep in mind, I'm trying to lose fat. I am trying to get shredded. So, you know, maybe it could be something funny. Um, just throw whatever you guys think would be cool. Throw it out there and comment. I'm looking forward to this new series. Um, I'm super excited to get down to a level that I've never got down to before. And push myself to the limit. I want to take you guys through the whole process. The whole purpose of this channel is to help you guys out and um, give you guys information on how to lift weight, <laughs> how as cliche as it sounds, how to lose fat, um, just li live overall a better life and uh, be healthy. And I'm going to take you guys through the steps that help me out and what helps me get prepared to lose fat. Comment what you guys think, and I hope to hear some good comments. Let's go cook some breakfast.
different when you cut as opposed to bulking because your leptin levels are so high um, due to the fat uh, intake that you have. The leptin levels in your body are sky high. It drops a lot depending on how many calories you dropped. Um, and you start feel that's what makes you feel hungry, moody, and once you start taking the fat away, it starts kicking in and uh, it takes a toll on your body. So Zeke is looking very little abs. Fat stored right here. I am storing a lot of fat on my stomach where I mostly store it. Start of shredding. There we go. So my back and my uh, my back and my arms, my legs, that stays lean pretty year like pretty consistently year round. Alright, since we're going to the gym in a little bit, I'm gonna start making my pre-workout. So I've been taking this pre-workout for a while, for about a month, and I really like it. It's a good product. Definitely go check it out. Um, you can go down to Optimal Sports Nutrition. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of them. Uh, I just go there because it's close to my house and decided to pick this up. So we're gonna take a scoop of this, start sipping on it before we go to the gym. I kind of simplified it right here on a whiteboard. So I'm sitting here in the office writing my plan down. Week one, um, I'll be doing my maintenance, a little, a little lower than my maintenance calories. Uh, my maintenance calories were about 3,200 and something. Now, a lot of people might say that's a lot, but I go to the gym six days a week, so keep in mind, I need a lot of calories just to maintain my weight. And it's hard for me to gain weight. Um, because obviously I have to eat more than probably 3,500 calories. What I did was week one, so starting today, I'm going to be hitting uh, 3,048 calories. Now I broke down the macros and I already have it on the Excel sheet. So I already know when I, what macros to hit today. All right, so then week two, I dropped it down 250 calories. So now we're, at, we're looking at 2,700 2,798 calories. Week three, I'm gonna be dropping it down to another 250. So keep in mind, that's already 500 calories down. Um, a normal person is um, supposed to lose weight 500 calories below the maintenance calories. I'm already in a fat burning stage and I'm looking to get even more lean. So we wanna get like, I'm talking like shredded. So we have to go above and beyond. Here we're in the fat burning stage now we're doing 2,548 calories. That's how many calories I would need to lose a pound a week. But we're trying to do this in a matter of two and a half months. And we dropped it down even more, 250 for week four. Now for week four, we're at 2,298 uh, 2, calories. So on week five, I start carb cycling. After these calories, I'm going to start carb cycling. So. Um, I'm going to be going down to 1,900 and something calories. I've never done that before to bring the best physique that I can possibly bring to you guys on YouTube. And uh, I'm going to show you guys that you can eat Oreos, Pop-Tarts in this diet. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun, guys. So stay tuned. We're going to go ahead to the gym in a little bit because I'm almost done with my pre-workout. But if you guys are watching this video, um, my online coaching services are out on my website, so I'll probably put it on the screen right here, somewhere right here. So all the details are going to be on my website, so go check that out if you're interested. I'll see you guys in the gym for a pool day, and three, two, one. What's going on, guys? First of all, I'm so excited to bring you guys this series, Cutting with Jared Allred. That's the name we're going to go with. Um, congratulations to the guy who commented on my photo on Facebook. Uh, I see, always see you in the gym, but honestly, I forgot your name. So, you're just going to be that guy for now. Um, yeah, cutting with Jared Allery. Going to bring it to you guys in full effect, 100%. I'm going to bring you the best quality as a, that I can and the best uh, motivation and information on how to cut, how to lift weight when you cut, and that's it. Give you guys motivation uh, to get your workouts done. If you guys are going through the same uh, process that I'm going through, you know, you're going to be cutting, you're going to be on less calories. So 
it's going to get tougher, you know, in the gym. Uh, you're going to have to push yourself mentally and physically. So I'm here to help you guys out. But let's get this uh, workout commentary over with. As you saw, I started with hammer strength. Uh, I did two plates and then I went to rack pulls with also two plates on the side. Now for my back days, I typically try to go for more of the squeeze and the contraction as opposed to ego lifting and trying to lift is the most, the heaviest I could. Um, I felt that my back was growing a tremendously when a tremendous amount when I was just going for the squeeze, taking down the weight. Like I used to uh, do bent bent over barbell rows with like three plates on on the on the on the bar, and you you don't get anything out of that. I mean, yeah, you feel good because you're hitting three plates, four plates. You keep stacking them up, but that's what we're not in the gym for. I could see if you were going for strength and it was like a leg day or a bench day and you're putting two plates on each side, you know, you're trying to go for your max. Okay, that's fine because then you have other accessory work that you're going to do after to help improve the weak points on your legs and your chest. But I mean, for back day, uh, if you're doing deadlift, if you're not doing deadlifts, I don't really see any other movement that you would um, implement strength in. For the barbell row, um, it's good to do it one arm so you get the better contraction. Lower the weight. Um, don't don't go in the gym and try to uh, impress everybody because yeah, you'll feel good, but in the end result, you won't have any benefit out of the what you just did. So it's better to back down the weight, feel the contraction, and yeah, that's it. That's the best tip I have for you guys to build your back to build anything. You want to lower the weight and make sure you feel a good contraction. But I don't know where we're at in this commentary, so let's see. I think it's about to end. Okay, yeah, so I wanted to talk to, about, talk to you guys about one more thing before it ends. As you see, I was doing seated hammer curls and seated regular dumbbell curls, alternating curls. Now, the reason why I sit down as opposed to standing up is because I feel like when I stand up, I use too much momentum, in my personal opinion. Um, I use too much momentum when going up, and to reverse that problem, I sit down. I dig my shoulder blades in the back of the pad and make sure that my back is like stuck to the back of the pad the whole time. And I get the best contraction that way, and I feel like I get a better stretch on my bicep. Now you see me doing reverse grip curls. Um, something I was trying to bring up on my bulk was my forearms and my brachialis on my bicep. So to make it thicker, you want to do hammer curls and, uh, you know, anything overhand for the biceps. Uh, I'm going to check out on this commentary, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. There's a lot more footage to come. A fitness checking out. All right, so we got... A chicken bowl with white rice from Wabu Grill. <clears throat> this thing was filled up all the way to here with white rice. So usually um, I'd stop at like, I'd eat like half of this just to make sure that I'm under my calories. But since, um, you know, I'm being pretty lenient with my macros right now since I do have 400 grams of carbs to eat, um, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. So I've already inputted my macros for the day or so far of what I ate. So let me go ahead and show you. All right, I got 152 grams of carbs. I'm sorry, uh, 27 grams of fat and 74 grams of protein throughout the day. So I still have about 350 grams of carbs left, um, about 30 grams of fat and 100 grams of carbs, I mean of protein.
Right, so we have not ate all day since the Wobble Grill. So uh, we're gonna fit in a lot of calories in this meal. I'm gonna be having a uh, ice cream cone from Nice Sunday Nut Cones. I'm gonna have an ice cream cone. I'm gonna have a scoop of protein with some creatine in it as well. And then I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a lot of macros left at the end of the day still. So I'm gonna probably have some oatmeal or some cereal to finish my carbs off. Um, depending on how my fat looks. So, might eat breakfast again, you never know. But we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So, I'm gonna eat this and drink this. So, eat, drink. Catch you guys in a second. Okay, last meal of the day. We're gonna end it off with a mass gaining shake, which sounds crazy, but keep in mind, I didn't eat a lot today. And I'm, I'm just hitting my maintenance calories for now. So we're gonna take two scoops of this mass gainer by Muscle Max and three cups of honeycomb cereal with a cup and a half of milk, 1% uh, milk. So I'm probably gonna have ice cream cone too because I can fit it in. And yeah, right now is the easy life. Uh, around week five, week four, it gets tough. Uh, yeah, so carbs are still pretty high, fat's high. Uh, next week, I'm looking to bump it down though. So, it's probably 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 be the end of the vlog. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the first video of. Uh, maybe I'll have the title already by now, but I still don't have a title. So, like I said, leave comments in the comment section. So, if you have anything to say for the people, Dad? One last go.